What's up guys, my name is Brandon and after many requests from you guys over the past couple of months, today I'm going to be showing you how to download Instagram pictures, Instagram videos, and even Instagram stories straight to your camera roll without the need of a jailbreak or a computer. And in addition to Instagram, I'll also be showing you how to download images, videos, and GIFs from Twitter and all of these downloads from both Twitter and Instagram will be in 4K quality or whatever the highest quality of the post is. Now, before we get started, I do need to mention that this is just for entertainment purposes only. So you should not be using this to download copyrighted material whatsoever. So anyways, let's get into it. So the only thing you'll need for this is just your iPhone or your iPad and the shortcuts application. So that should be installed by default. But if you deleted it or you just don't see it, just go into the app store, search for shortcuts and reinstall the application. Now you will also need to allow untrusted shortcuts. So if you go into your settings here and then go down to shortcuts, shortcuts right there, you should see allow untrusted shortcuts. Now you may see it grayed out right here. And to get that ungrayed out, because we do need to enable that, you need to go into the shortcuts application here and either run a shortcut that you have or just go to the gallery and add one of these shortcuts and run it. So we'll just do a quick one right here like NPR News Now. Let's just add shortcuts and then it will show up in our shortcuts right here. We simply tap on that and just run it. And now we will be able to go ahead and enable this inside of settings. So after it runs, you will see that it is now not grayed out and we need to go ahead and select allow untrusted shortcuts, allow, then you will need to put in your passcode right here. Then you will be able to allow untrusted shortcuts from the internet. So now I want you guys to go to the link you see down in the description below. It's gonna take you here. And this is going to be the shortcut we're gonna download first for Instagram. So once you get here, just click on the little black get shortcut button right there. You'll see this populate inside of the shortcuts application. You'll see pretty much what this shortcut is comprised of. It'll show you how it was made. Then you just wanna go down to the very bottom right here. You can just use this to go down to the bottom fast. And you see add untrusted shortcut, tap on that. And you can configure the shortcut where you want to save the media. So if you wanted to save it to a certain album, you could do it right there. I'm fine with mine just being in recent, so I'll keep it at that. Go ahead and tap on done. And there we go. It's now in your shortcuts as you see right here. So now let's go over to Instagram and start downloading something. So I'm just going to go ahead and download whatever is first on my feed right here. I'll just go to a random post. I'll just go to my profile right here. We're just going to download this picture that I have right here. So to do this, all we do is tap on the three dots up in the top right of the post. And this could be a video or a picture. It doesn't really matter. Then we're going to go to share to, and then you will see right there, it says Instagram download. Go ahead and tap on that. Then you will see this pop up right here. We're just going to go ahead and tap on OK. Now this does only show up after the first time. So I must have hit something else. So let's tap on that. Hit OK. These pop ups again only pop up the first time you use it. So they will not pop up every single time after the initial run of the shortcut. So there you go. Just took two simple steps and it's downloaded to our photo. So if we go into photos right here and into my recents, you could see there it is. That is the photo I just downloaded from Instagram. So now let's go ahead and download something else. So you can see how fast it moves after the initial run of the shortcut. So let's go to this post right here. So you can see there's multiple photos in this post. You can actually download all of them or just certain ones. So go to the share two right here and then go to Instagram download and you will see you get the option to select whatever photo you want or photos that you want. So if I want to do all of them, just go and tap on done and you can see it downloads all of them right there. There are no additional prompts or anything like that. So it's very, very fast and very efficient. Now for a story, things are a little bit different. So first of all, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. It's just at Brandon Butch. I do do giveaways over there sometimes. And a lot of the giveaways on my channel, you are required to follow my Instagram anyway. So you may as well go ahead and follow over there. But anyways, stories are a little bit different. So let me show you how this works. So if we go ahead to this story right here, you will see that if we tap on the three dots and go to share two, if we try to do it the way that we just did for posts, it will not work. And you get this right here, which tells you basically what to do. So what you need to do is basically just open up Instagram in Safari and view that story in Safari to be able to download the media from Instagram stories. So what we're going to do is tap on open store and it's going to take you right back to here. We're going to go ahead and tap on copy and then we're going to go to Safari right here. 
And then we're going to paste that right here and then go. And you will need to be logged in. So you can see I'm not logged in. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in really quick. So here is the story inside of Safari. And you can see there are multiple videos and then also a photo right there. So if you wanna save one of these videos or anything, just go ahead and tap on the little share icon in the bottom middle, scroll down and you will see Instagram download. Simply tap on that and it downloads it just like so. We'll just go ahead and download this last one as well. So you can see it is in the camera roll, Instagram download, there we go. Now let's go into our photos right here and you will see it's right there. So super cool and very easy to download Instagram posts and also Instagram stories. Now, when it comes to downloading media from Twitter straight to your camera roll, it's pretty much the same process, but we do need a separate shortcut for this to work. So what you wanna do is go to the second link down in the description below and you'll see this right here, Twitter download, and it's from the same author as the previous one, the Instagram downloader. So for this, you just wanna tap on the black get shortcut button right there. It will take you into shortcuts where once again, you will see how this shortcut was made right there. We just wanna go down all the way to the bottom down here, add untrusted shortcuts. And once again, you get the option to configure where you want the media to save to, which album you want it to save to. I just want mine to recent, so that's fine. Go ahead and tap on done and it's added and you will see it inside of your shortcuts right here. So now let's go into Twitter and let's go ahead and find some media. So here's something, some photos that I shot on the iPhone 12 Pro, some really cool pictures. So for this, of course, photos are easy to download. I mean, Twitter actually gives you the option to download this, so save photo. So that's nothing, you know, especially you don't need to find a way to save photos. But for videos, Twitter does not give you the option to download though. So once again, we have this picture right here, this video right here rather, and you can see there's no where to save video. So there's no way to save this video except for with this shortcut. So you wanna just go ahead down to the share icon in the bottom right hand corner, go ahead and tap on that. Then you wanna to go to share via right over here. And then you will see Twitter download right there. Go ahead and tap on that, tap okay. And it will download this right here. So tap okay once again. Okay, once again, and again, you won't have to do these every single time. It's just the first time you have to make sure, you know, that it grants access to that. So there you go. You can see it does save it to our library. So let's go back to our photos and you will see that video is right there in its full quality. And you do the same thing for GIFs or GIFs. Twitter does not allow us to save them by default for whatever reason, but with the shortcut you can. So go ahead and tap on that, share via once again, go ahead to Twitter download right there. And for these, you get the option to save it as a GIF, an MP4, and you can change the size right there as well. Go ahead and tap on GIF and you can say, you know, don't ask anymore. So it does it all the time and you can change that setting in the shortcut if you want to. There you go. Now let's go to our photos and you will see it shows up right there. And once again, no matter what you download from Twitter or Instagram, the quality will be as high as possible. So 4K or 1080p, whatever it is on the social media platform, it's gonna show up as that and download as that straight to your camera roll. So that is always a plus. So there you have it guys. That is how you can download media from both Instagram and Twitter. So if this video helped you out, I would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up and also make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for a lot more content like this. And also shout out to Gluebyte who put together both the Twitter and the Instagram downloaders for us all to enjoy. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.